Okay, here we're going to be looking at the saturated media extract for soilless media. So you might be wondering what this exactly is. The way you can kind of think about this is it's kind of like a soil test for your soilless media. So you don't want to be taking your um, soilless media and sending it to the lab and calling it soil. So you're not going to get really that accurate or representative results. Uh, your soil less media, because it contains no soil, needs to be treated differently. And the saturated media extract, or SME, is the way to go to get accurate results. I've included a couple of links down here if you want some more information, to, such as um, from Yukon Soil Testing Lab and also UMass, uh, again, about this SME for soilless media. Now, this SME is considered to be the standard um, for testing soilless media. And I have a picture of the pellets here, kind of that standard, that gold standard. It's the one that is highly regarded in the field. So this soilless media, we want to be running through SME. We don't want to be sending this in as a soil sample again, because it's going to use different extraction fluids and not give us the accurate results that we need. There's sample instructions. So a little different than that um, soil test, if you watch that lecture there, I need to provide a representative sample and adequate sample size for the lab for the SME. Through sample directions and depend on fertilizer regimen and method of production will influence what you have. So you have the pictures of the Legos here. You don't want to just send them a bunch of random blocks. You want to have something that could mass together and tell a good story, or in this case, produce this uh, a Lego figure of Yoda to tell a story of what your grow is going to look like. If you're kind of haphazardly going through and sampling and not really following the rules, well, it's just like sending a bunch of blocks. You're not going to get some results back. It's not really going to help you. You send a quality sample, and you can paint a better picture of what's going on with your plants. The key is to be consistent. So growers need to be consistent with their sampling and also consider the following questions if comparing results. So if you take an example of a sample early in the grow and then later, you want to be able to compare those results accurately. You need to consider uh, the age or the stage of development of the plant what the growing medium you're using. What's the fertilizer program? Is there so release fertilizer mix in? Is there a plant problem going on? All of these factor into trying to be consistent at the sample you give the lab and also allowing comparisons to be able to occur if you're looking at the same growth cycle and also to consider these if you're comparing um, different growth cycles or different plants on um, different age groups. Lastly, this SME procedure, what they do in the lab, I don't think it's like a mystical procedure here. They simply make a paste, like a toothpaste here, with soil and water, and they take the liquid portion, which is the extract, they separate it from the solid portion for pH, soluble salts, and nutrient analysis. So the procedure can be very similar to a soil test, but exactly the details of how they go about this is slightly different, and therefore you should be targeting the test in the lab that matches the type of sample that you're sending them so you get representative results back so that you're able to make informed decisions.